I have the most exciting news. Today, I'm going to show you how you can put an email list into action and start earning from it relatively quickly. Those of you that have subscribed have been waiting for my AWeber Etsy tutorial, and I have found something way better. Not only is it way better, but it's also faster and easier to use. The new Everbee email feature is a total game changer. This video is sponsored by Everbee, but only after I found out about the new email feature and decided to totally abandon AWeber. Here's why. Most of you know that I've been on YouTube a relatively short time, but that I've prided myself on bringing you real actionable strategies to help you level up your Etsy game. As I was putting together the AWeber video, I came to realize how hard it was going to be to be clear and concise and show you the usability of the program. Quite frankly, it's a very difficult program to use. Starting an email list is such a critical step in helping your Etsy shop grow. Etsy now rewards you for any email or social marketing that you do for them. Not only will the sales generate income for you, but they will also trigger the Etsy algorithm to notice your shop. I cannot express how badly you need that to happen. When you are new on Etsy and your shop is very young, it can be very hard to get traction. Some of you might not even have customers at this point, but when you do, Getting them on your email list has the potential to skyrocket your sales in the future. Major bonus, Everbee has offered a coupon code to help you get started. This coupon basically gives you one month free. You can find that link in the description below. Please note that this is only for new Everbee users and that the email feature is part of the growth plan. As we are going through setting up your email list, I'm going to go through three mistakes that you need to not make while setting this up. Make sure that you stick around to the end because the third point is critical. You do not want to miss that one. My name is Terry. Welcome to Cha-Ching. I will be your guide through the Etsy maze and your partner in crime, all things small business. I'm getting ready to take you through the tutorial, but I need you to hear the first mistake you need to avoid making. Number one is do not just breeze through this setup without putting any thought into it or having a plan of action. Everbee makes the email feature super easy to set up, but that does not mean that you do not need to give consideration to the wording that's going to go into these first four critical emails that your customers will receive from you. Okay, so you'll need to go to everbee.io to sign in. And if you're new to Everbee, you will first need to connect your Etsy shop. And after that, you can go to your email page. And that is going to be right here. And if this sidebar is not showing, you just click on this little arrow right here. Okay. So then you click on that and you're, you're going to come to your email dashboard. Okay. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go over here to settings. Okay. In settings, you're going to make sure that your sender name is set up how you want it, that your reply email address is saved how you want it. Uh, if you check this, it's going to use your shop icon. Okay, and then make sure that your address and all your social medias are correct. Okay, after that, you're going to go to subscribers. And you're going to go here and you're going to say add subscriber and you're going to add yourself. This way you see everything that's coming in. You can test out the emails to make sure that they're sending correctly and that they look exactly how you want them to look to the customer. So that's why I've got one subscriber in here. And this is a brand new account for me. So I'm just now setting up the um, email for this account. So I'm the only subscriber right now. Also from this page, you can import a list that you have from another program. Click under add customer and then import list. So what you would do is you would start on, let's just say that I had subscribers on Aweber or MailChimp. You would go to either one of those and you would export your list. And then after that, you would come here and you would import that list and then everybody would be added. It's super, super easy, fast and easy. Okay, so after that, you're going to go right here and you're going to hit view subscribe page. 
And then this is where you're going to change any coloring that you want. This button is orange when it first shows up, but you can change it. I changed it to my shop color. And then you can change any of the wording. And by default, your shop icon will show up. Okay. And then you hit Save Changes. Then you also want to view the confirmation page and do the same thing. And this is just very simple. You can change that wording if you want, but it just says thank you for your subscription. And change your button color because you want it to be the same all the way through. And hit Save Changes again. Okay? Now you're going to go to Campaigns. Alright. So... Okay, so the first thing I notice is that I've already had an open to one of my emails, which is pretty nice. I just set this up literally like an hour ago so that I could do this with you. And already someone has got has gotten the messages. So this means that someone this one's been delivered and this one's been processed. So this is probably the person who opened it. So yeah, one opened, so that's delivered. Processed means that they've gotten it, but they haven't opened it yet. Okay, so what these are, <laughs> sorry, I got excited to see that, <laughs> but what these are, are your um, first four emails that your customers are going to get. These are the ones that I'm talking about. Don't just breeze through. I want you to go in here and tweak these emails, okay? I'm not going to be able to give you the exact wording. If you're struggling to come up with wording, then you can um, use ChatGPT. Uh, I will link a video above that shows the um, process of how we wrote a, a description, a listing description using ChatGPT and the different things that it can do to help you out, especially if you can't write your way out of a paper bag. But these emails are actually good starting points. You can see here that it says, we're thrilled to confirm your recent order with us. Thank you for allowing our small business the opportunity to bring you a bit of our craftsmanship into your life. You know, and it goes down goes on and then below it has pictures that are that automatically populate your products below okay but to edit this you would just hit edit and then let's just say that you want to edit the the button color you just click on that and I want the text to be black actually so now I say save as draft and then you can send it to test it and it will send it to your email Okay, so you just go through each one. The first one will be the order confirmation, then the shipment confirmation, delivery confirmation, and then review request. And you formulate however you want those the wording to go for that. These are emails that they get once they subscribe. So this is basically thank you for subscribing, and then this is you know just starts telling about you know your story. You can put anything in here that you want to put. This is a good starting off point though. These four emails are the emails they get when they subscribe. So once they have subscribed, you can actually put the coupon code in this email as well. And then it's three consecutive emails after that that happen at specific times. So like I said, all of this is set up for you. It's really great. Like just the fact that I just did this like an hour ago and I've already had two emails delivered and one um, confirmed, opened. So no subscribers yet, but we're going to go in very shortly and I'm going to show you how to make a listing photo that will help you with your conversion right here. The second mistake to avoid is to not think of your Etsy goals as short-term solutions. Email lists can take a bit of time to build up. But I can tell you from experience that you do not want to skip it for other things that have short-term payoffs. When I built my poor Etsy shop, I failed to do this and I nearly lost the whole thing. When that shop slowed down, I had nothing to revive it. My rich Etsy shop, on the other hand, flourishes during all of Etsy's crazy algorithm swings. If you want to hear the rest of that story, I'll put the link above. After over two years of building that email list, when it's slow, I can now email 2,000 people and the sales start rolling in. Now I will show you how to make a listing image that will help your subscriber conversion rate. Let's hop into Canva. Okay, so if you need a more in-depth look at Canva, I do have another video where we were 
designing a shirt design and I went a little more in depth. The purpose of this tutorial will just be to show you how to make the listing photo to point people to your email subscriber list. But if you want the full video, then I'm going to link that above. Okay, so for now you're going to go to create a design and we're going to do a custom size. We're going to make it 3000 by 3000. This is just going to be a listing photo, so it doesn't have to be giant. Okay, so for the first thing we want to do is to get ourselves a background. You don't want anything too busy and you ideally want to have something that's going to be more generalized. Like you wouldn't want to really do a holiday specific design unless you are going to go back and change that after each holiday. So I would pretty much just stick with your brand colors here so you can just leave it all the time. And right now you're in the design tab, so you're going to need to go down to photos. And then I'm just going to type in turquoise background. Okay. So see, I have a lot of different backgrounds that I can use. I kind of like that one. It's very fancy, isn't it? Okay, so maybe something like this with the lights. You can size it by dragging up. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is we're going to add some text. Okay, so um, we're going to go to the text area here. And we're going to add a heading because we're going to say subscribe and save. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that at the top. Now you can change that color um, if you just go in here and you can go to here and make it whatever color you want. I'm just going to leave it black so it's easily easy to be red. Okay, so now we're going to add um, some text body and we're going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and we're going to start typing. And so what I'm going to add is... Uh, I'm going to say two ways to, to save. One, before purchase. Send us a message, or you can say send me a message. Send us a message with your email and say subscribe to after purchase whoops purchase Watch for your order confirmation email and subscribe. And we're going to take out email because I don't want to say that twice. Watch for your order confirmation and subscribe right from the email. Okay. All right, and my advice on this text is going to be that it needs to be sort of block font. So for me, this is fine. I might want to bold it, okay? And I can also put some spacing in between, okay? So see, it's that simple. You can decorate that up and put flowers on there if you want, but it's just, it's not even necessary. Basically, they're going to see that and they're going to look for, you could, you can actually put here what the savings is going to be. That might be, oh, that's probably a really great idea, actually. So we're going to duplicate that and we're going to say, 30% off. Okay, so you could do 
10% off if you want, but that's, it, maybe think about what it would take to get you to subscribe. <laughs> you know what I mean? 10% off is not going to get me to subscribe to someone's email list, but 30% off surely will. And also, we could do something special to this, like we're going to add an effect so this stands out. We can have it stand out and we can actually pick the color. Where does it go? Right here. You can pick the color and the thickness. So I'm going to have that stand out in white and we're going to make the thickness a little bigger. See? Okay. So now subscribe and save 30% off. Two ways to save. See? So that's all you really need. Then you export this. You say go to share and you say to download. And then you download it, save it somewhere on your computer where you can find it, and then you're going to put that in every single listing. So that, A, they can either message you and you can get them onto your email list that way, or they will get that after purchase message uh, confirmation and they will subscribe from there. So, uh, and don't forget this, this is your email list. If you leave Etsy, you can redirect this to Shopify or another platform. It does not have to just go to Etsy. The third thing to avoid, and the most critical, is breaking Etsy's terms of service. For those of you that are worried about emailing in the first place, and you think that Etsy does not allow that, I'm going to put a page on the screen right now from the Etsy Seller Handbook that states that you actually can use email. Not only can you use it, but they're encouraging you to do so. The link for that page is also going to be down in the description below so that you can read it for yourself and you can read all the contextual stuff around it. You can see where Etsy states under the section, where can I share my link to save on fees? Traffic you drive to your Etsy shop from your own marketing qualifies for share and save. Think social media posts, email newsletters, and adding it to your business card. However, you can't save on fees by sharing your unique link in the Etsy messages or in your Etsy shop and listing descriptions. So they've made this share and save program to where it only works bringing it from the outside in. They want you to bring traffic. And I know you all noticed they started allowing us to share our reviews on social media now. So email is not a problem. Furthermore, in order to get them on your email list, they have to confirm. It's called a double opt-in. You cannot just pull their email address and put them on. That's why Everbee has that email that confirms in there. That's the double opt-in that you need. Also, you can't go email previous customers. You, you can only email customers when it's about a current order. That's why those first four emails are so critical because we can email them when they place the order and say thank you for placing the order and then we can email them again and say, you know, your order is shipping or your order is in production. However you want to do those four emails, by the end of it you've had four chances to get them to subscribe and that is allowed. If you've gotten value from this content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. You do not want to miss the upcoming Everbee training tutorials that I'm going to have on this channel. I'm really diving in. I'm very excited to partner with them because I know that it's going to bring you a great value. Also, don't forget that the link is in the description for the BOGO deal. So go down there and click on that. You'll get one month free and I'll get a cup of coffee. So until next time, see you later, alligator.